143. Compare the atomic and molecular orbital diagrams to identify the member of each of the following pairs that has the highest first ionization energy. That's the most tightly bound electron in the gas phase. And then we have just nitrogen, or we have N2, the molecule. So just know that your atomic diagrams are always going to be on the sides. Now, I pulled up what nitrogen's molecular orbital diagram is going to be. It is going to abide by this structure. I don't know if your teacher or professor is going to give you this structure or you have to memorize it, but just know that for nitrogen, you're always picking out this structure here. And your atomic orbitals are on the sides. So I have one nitrogen here and one nitrogen here, and in the middle, you're going to form your molecule, which is N2. Okay, so the hardest thing here is to just determine how many valence electrons are we talking about, whether we're talking about two valence electrons, three. Well, nitrogen, we know, is in group five, so that means five valence electrons. So to start this off, I do have to draw five electrons on the left side and five electrons on the right side. And you always have to start at the bottom and work your way up. So you start with the lowest energy and then you go to the highest. So we have one electron. Remember, every line is a total of three, uh, two electrons. So I have to fill this one up first, two, before I go up here. So I have one, two, I'm trying to get to five. So that's three, four, five. Kids on the school bus, remember you don't fill up one line before you go to the next. You gotta be fair. And then since this is five electrons for the nitrogen, you just do the same on the other side. One, two, three. And now it seems, just for tracking purposes, it seems that the highest energy for your atomic orbitals, and remember your atomic is on the sides, the molecular orbital is in the middle. So N2, this is your molecular. Okay, so the highest energy here between your atomic side is these guys. So we're looking at the highest level right here. So that's gonna come important when we are comparing the two. Now let's see where we're going to leave off when we do our molecule. Well, this is pretty simple. All we have to do is just take the total that we see on both sides and add them together. Well, five on the left, five on the right, so I have a total of 10. And now I have to fill these up from lowest to highest with total of 10 electrons. So let's go for it. I gotta start at the bottom, so one, Two, I have to finish before I move on to the next line. So one, two, three, four. Now here comes two lines that have the same energy, so I have to distribute them. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I can move up to this one, nine, 10. And just track where the highest energy is for your N2. That's this guy. So I'm just gonna pull this over there. Okay, so this is for your H, and right below it is, oh, not your H, your N. So that's for your N, and right below it is your N2. Okay, but now we wanna know which one out of these will give us the highest first ionization energy. And remember, an ionization energy is all about losing an electron. So it's the energy required in order to pluck away one of these electrons. Now, if you are the highest ionization energy, that means that it took a lot, a lot of energy to pluck off that one electron. So when you're ranking them, you say, well, which one of these will be harder to grab? Now remember, as you're increasing in energy, it's easier to pluck them off. So you're looking for something that is way more stable, and stability is always lower down on the totem pole. So since N2 is lower than N, 
This is technically more stable than if you just had two nitrogens chilling by themselves. So since this is more stable, this would require much more energy. It would produce a higher first ionization energy. So in this case, your answer is N2. And that's it for this one. What'd you think? Let's just color this in. Looks beautiful. Okay, I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I'll be talking to you in later lessons. Hope you're having a great day out there. Let's keep studying hard, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.